What's happening guys? Joe here from Theme Park Insanity and welcome down to Alton Towers opening day 2024 and of course the highly anticipated return of Nemesis. Nemesis Reborn. It's going to be an absolutely incredible day. I've already seen pictures. I've literally just got here now. It's around about quarter past eight and it's absolutely heaving <laughs> as expected. Anyway, let's get into the park. Let's take a look around. Hopefully make our way down to Forbidden Valley. And let's see where we're about in the queue we end up for Nemesis. I'll tell you something, there's busy, there's really busy, and then there's this. This is absolutely insane. First pot of call, toilets. <laughs> right, so I've been joined by Elise and Sam. <laughs> and Elise is sporting a very, very swanky new uh, nemesis. In fact, she's literally, she's painted that herself. You can't, that looks absolutely incredible. I was trying to show you on the thing, but obviously the red with the sunlight kind of... Uh, Bleaches it a little bit, and we've got SB lifters. <laughs> you yeah, looking forward to today? Yeah, I mean, it's a sunny day, the weather's on our side. It certainly so is. We're off to us a good start. Absolutely. Um, it's busy, obviously. Mental, uh, I think, is probably more of a. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it this busy at Alton Towers before. I mean, obviously, yeah. you know, it gets busy during fireworks and stuff, but I don't think I've seen it this busy. Yeah, it's busy, but it's definitely going to be a good day. Um, yeah. It's quite funny actually, before you turned up, they just put the music on. Oh, did they? And there was like an eruption of a cheer at the front. <laughs> um, even though it is about half eight now, give or take. Yeah, because so the gates have... open at nine, don't they? Yeah, so they might... we're thinking they might start security checking soon. So. Brilliant. But yeah, we came past, uh, we came back by the Galactica side, so a bit of a queue building over there as well for the hotel guests. I can imagine. But we did see Nemesis testing, so. That Fantastic. Was <laughs> That's an even better start to your day than actually having the sunshine, isn't it? <laughs> Finally seeing that going back around the track again. Yeah. But, but we're, we're looking forward to going over there, seeing the new area, how it looks. Um, not too worried if we don't get on it today because it will be really busy. I'm the same to be honest with you as well. Like, I, I want to get on it, but I'm not going to kind of go out my way to wait hours and hours and hours and literally spend most of my day queuing. Um, I've ridden Nemesis before. I know how it feels. It's not going to feel massively different, I wouldn't imagine. Obviously a bit smoother and a bit more more modern, but apart from that, yeah. Sounds really good though. Like, going around the track, she sounds amazing. So. Still got a raw. Yeah, it's a nice raw. It's like a very... It's more subtle, I think. Brilliant. It's still really good. Um, but yeah, I think definitely go over, check out the sort of opening festivities almost. Yeah. And then see what else is going on around the bar. Just and hopefully get some more merchandise. Absolutely, yeah, because I'm, I'm literally going to go and bankrupt today at the end of it. But yeah, it's going to be... Sorry? It'll be worth it. It will. It will be well worth it. And to be fair, you know, with any kind of opening day as well, yes, we do always have a look into how it's trading. That's normally at the start of the day. I think today that'll be a, uh, a later on job, in all fairness. But yeah, hopefully things start moving very soon. I've never, as I said, seen this many people at Alton Towers. Then again, I've never been to fireworks, but this is absolutely incredible. Let's get our stay day started here at Alton Towers. Right, stage two of uh, queuing. Where do we stand next? Oh, it looks like we're actually opening these ones up now. What? This is absolutely nuts. There's no security checks whatsoever. I mean, that kind of speeds things up a bit today, but no, this is absolutely bonkers, is this? I've never seen it like this. Nuts, isn't it? Absolutely nuts. Yeah, everybody just kind of vanished and shoved forwards, but yeah, we'll get in. Well, I know where, I know where everybody's going when they get in. There's a TV crew down there or something that looks at that. I don't know. I mean, I guess they're that. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of what people say it's like to be an American park in all fairness, because this is just insane. I think we're kind of shuffling this way now. Anyway, right, let's get in. Nothing could have prepared you for opening day. You thought you were prepared, think again. I mean, there's opening day and then there's this, but yeah, we'll get in. I'll talk to you when we get through. I'm not going to try and do it as we kind of go through like I normally do through there, but you can see they've got Nemesis flags through there, which looks quite cool. Right, let's get through. I'll talk to you on the other side. On the other side as well, we've got this lovely Nemesis reborn bunting everywhere here on the entrance plaza as well. But yeah, still absolutely mental. It's still not in. Looks nice, sir. And in first place, we've got the Enthusiasts. Enthusiasts in first place. And it's all run and go for Nemesis Reborn opening today. Go, go, go. And we've also got uh, Phalanx and Nemesis theming inside. We've literally just come through. This is going to be absolutely bonkers. And before we go down to Forbidden Valley, we're going to nip into Towers Trading, have a quick look at merchandise. And uh, yeah. Let's see what they've got. Right, okay, so we just had a look in Towers Trading, lots of new merchandise, and the one main thing to say is it's great to see Alton Towers actually having stuff in for their opening day. There is a brand new Curse pin, there's a 2024 pin, we've got a Curse resin, really happy with that. And there's also a really cool looking Nemesis Reborn bag. Now, we have 
Oh, well, then you're right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, we have been told that there should be Nemesis pins down at. <laughs> sorry, I'm catching my breath. Uh, down in Forbidden Valley, obviously, in the new Nemesis shop. So we'll have a look for that when we do get down. But yeah, making our way down now. Everybody's literally been legging it. I'm not running down to Forbidden Valley. If I get stuck in a massive queue, so be it. But it would just be nice to be down there and see what happens. But speaking of which, let's go. Right, so we just joined the queue. It's absolutely massive as expected. Yes, yeah, I'm talking about the queue. <laughs> uh, sticker people, uh, sticker family, big shout out to you guys. Thank you for that. But yeah, we're up near Curse Alt Manor, which is pretty much where we were stood last year waiting for the curse. Feels a little bit like deja vu, but apart from that, the queue line is completely empty. And it extends all the way right down there. But that being said, we are going to be going through the actual new entrance. Of course, they've completely and utterly transformed Forbidden Valley now into a makeshift military facility with a whole brand new entrance just above where uh, Subterra is. Now, of course, we did see markings there last year. And we kind of speculated about what that could possibly be. We obviously now know that that was obviously for the fence they've built, been putting in and building. On top of that, they've also added brand new female elements in and around Forbidden Valley in terms of helicopters, military vehicles, and stuff within the actual Nemesis ride itself and the turnaround as we've seen too. You've seen all the videos, I'm not going to bore you with the details. You'll see it for yourself when you come. But, of course, we're going to make our way down. I'll give you a bit of a brief glimpse as to what is in there. Hopefully we get Nemesis today. I'm looking easily, probably a three or four hour queue at this point, if this does go all the way into the Nemesis queue line. But we'll see. Regardless of this, just great to be back. And I'll talk to you when we get to Forbidden Valley. Right, it's a slight change of plan. Given the fact we've ridden Nemesis before, at the moment this is apparently about a five hour queue. And of course we've not actually opened the ride yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down, watch the opening ceremony. I'll see what they do do to open the ride which means we can take you through the new Forbidden Valley entrance. And then hopefully later in the day, once the hype's died down a bit, and people have kind of got their rides on it and everything else, because it's going to get smaller at some point, we'll go ride it then. Failing that, I'm going to be back here mid next week anyway. So again, I'll jump on it then. But in all fairness, I am actually more here to see what they do to open this ride, the theatrics of it all and everything else. So let's go check that out. Right, so approaching the entrance, this looks absolutely incredible. We've got a whole brand new entrance portal, we've got a brand new soundtrack, Phalanx operatives absolutely everywhere. Forbidden Valley, look at that. It's under control. Everything's under control, he says. They've also moved the vehicle so that, of course, it gives more space. Wow, look at all the Phalanx operatives as well. Look at all those guys. <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Wow. Oh, we've also got uh, Roman actors. You can play the air a little bit for me. Stay back, stay back. Keep your distance. Stay here. Yeah, but we need to take it back to Project Farm. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> This looks absolutely incredible. So this, of course, has replaced the Nemesis Gun. they rebuilding uh, Edge Arcade at the moment, which, of course, will be uh, slightly different to how it used to be. Look at that, though. Wow. This is insane. <laughs> absolutely incredible. Look at all the, look at all the tentacles. Wow. You'll hear me say wow a lot in this video, but that genuinely is absolutely incredible. It's sensational. Got Nemesis Egg in there. That looks extremely good. Very appropriate for Easter coming up. <laughs> yeah, this is so impressive. Live car game there, sir. Live car game. You keep your distance, all right? Sorry, guys. Sean Parksville, big shout out. Hi. All right, <laughs> working. Right, let's get down. We've got actors absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Nemi's making her way around. And doesn't she look absolutely amazing? So great to see her back open. The entrance portal there, let's go take a closer look at that. So you've also got your themed entrance portal here, the brand new soundtrack playing. It looks absolutely brilliant, it really does. It's nice to see them go back to the original Nemesis Logan, obviously bring a spin to that. They've also added the I between obviously the I and S as we've seen, Reborn there too. 
and the tentacles everywhere as well. This has completely transformed the ride. A whole brand new generation of Nemesis, and it's going to be amazing. We've still got some of the original Nemesis kind of logo and branding there, of course, reusing that lettering, and of course, making the way up there too. But this is sensational. The main thing I want to see right now, though, is the eye. Let's go take a look at that. Can I just say the atmosphere here today is just absolutely sensational? It really is. You've got a much clearer view now here of Nemesis as well. She goes around bank, the uh, downward bank helix. So, of course, we'll get that coming through shortly. But it's so lovely to see this back open after last year and it had been shut for 18 months. It's just nice to be back here and actually have this open. It really, really is. There's so much attention that has been paid to the actual, the full surrounding area. It's so much more than just a reopening of a reimagined ride. It's, it's the birth of a whole brand new area and a whole brand new feel. Now, I could be wrong, but from my looks of it, I think they've, uh, yes they have. You can't get down there anymore. That's a bit of a shame, don't mind. But we will go down there and have a look at that shortly. How amazing does that look? feelings too there's actors down here campaigning to release nemesis <laughs> absolutely brilliant so just come down to the shop to have a quick look at the merchant in typical british style we are queuing for the shop it's like being back in covid times again isn't it <laughs> <laughs> Apart from nobody's wearing masks, thank God. And also here as well with Stace from Love to Explore. How are you doing? I'm all right, yeah. We're going to the Bunker 94. Bunker 94. Indeed. And also if we look behind, we've now got fences up, construction fences, for what will be Project Ocean. Now, there is excavation works on the other side of that. I have seen aerial views of that and they are already digging down. But the actual ride or structure itself is going to basically go across this path here between... Ground Command, Coffee Command, it used to be Costa Coffee, it's obviously been renamed. And obviously down here as well, you walk kind of under a tunnel there, and the ride itself will be up here. But of course, we'll talk all about that in another vlog. Today's main reason for coming, of course, is the one and only Nemesis. So we're gonna go and have a look in in a second, we're in front of the queue. I can already see a Nemesis creature there. That looks absolutely incredible. Look, looking forward to having a closer look at that in a minute. But as one of the stuff we just confirmed there, we've got kind of various different ranges as we sort of move throughout the shop. You've got a retro range, a subterra range, Nemesis Reborn range, it kind of goes around there too. And it has also confirmed there are pin badges, which I'm very happy about indeed. Looking forward to getting in, let's go have a look. So we've got pins, we've got patches, four different pins. You've got a retro Nemesis 94. Um, we've got a really nice looking Nemesis Reborn one here. Absolutely fantastic. Nemesis trains, the trains seem to be a new thing this year, so we've got those as well for various different rides. John Morley's book down there as well, which I will pick a copy of, copy of up very soon. And then you've got this absolute, mo well, literal monster. <laughs> this is just absolutely incredible. Look at this. You've got the eye there, with the teeth round it. <laughs> Great big claws. Syringe pens. I'll tell you something, they've really gone to town with this. Limited edition Nemesis cups there. Wow. Theme Park Enthusiast has created a model of the original train there. Oh. So you can buy original bolts from the old Nemesis. Wow. They're cool. <laughs> £100. £100 each of those. So you got two bolts down there as well. In all fairness, there is literally so much to look at right here. Retro Nemesis range up there. Fridge Magna, which yeah, I'll pick up in a second as well. You got new trophies for Nemesis Reborn, new cups. I was kind of hoping to be like a sort of colour changing mug, but I don't see one anywhere just yet. Phalanx bags there, merchandise, t shirts, big ass syringes. Phalanx wants to inject you. Yeah, I'm not taking that orally, mate. <laughs> oh, what's that? Subterra, oh, we've got new Subterra. 
Uh, yeah, I'm going to be very skint by the end of today. Right, talk to you when we get out of here. But yeah, loads to have a look at in here. Do come in and check it out. As I said, so much to see in just one go. And the atmosphere again today is just amazing. It really is. Right, so the current queue for Nemesis at the moment is believed to be four and a half hours. Sorry for sounding out of breath, but I just literally run up from the merch shop to come and catch up with these guys. We are, however, in the wrap queue. And again, it's quite a sizable queue. Uh, you all right? <laughs> I think it's going to move faster than a normal queue. So the main aim now is obviously get on, have a ride, see how she feels, see if it feels any different from obviously when it's shut and we'll bring you our full thoughts afterwards. It's believed there's quite a few changes in the station as well. i uh, just been talking to Sean Evans, Live Deals and Frills again, massive shout out to him. So there is some changes in there and obviously the news media report didn't really do it justice. But the ride's going up now, I'll try and catch it coming around here again and I'll catch a few more shots as we go along as well. Really excited. our time to ride. I'm really impressed with what I've seen so far. The new addition of female elements everywhere, the new helicopters, the smoke, the effects, the music. It's a whole different ride. Yeah, the police is ready as well. We're almost there. Let's go ride Nemesis and I'll talk to you when we get off. Let's do this. We're inside. There's that sort of like musty sort of dead smell scent pod you've got. No, that's just me, Joe. That's Matt after, after uh, a Friday night. <laughs> We've got lights. <laughs> We've got huge ribs. Wow, this is absolutely incredible. Just, yeah. In comparison to what it was before, this is absolutely sensational. Loving the effects, just, just loving everything about it. It's no wonder they kept it so quiet and so secretive. Anyway, right, let's go ride. So as well, as we kind of predicted, John Wardley and John Burton are both here. Uh, signing and meeting and greeting. I'm absolutely gutted because I've literally I've been queuing for the ride and I've just missed out on actually meeting them. They have sadly closed the queue line, but you can kind of understand they've been here since seven this morning signing and obviously we're getting towards dinner time now, so they definitely need a break. But what they've done with Nemesis is absolutely incredible. It's a very, very different ride experience from what we had before. And speaking of which, let's have a bit of a chat about it. Nemesis Reborn, we've literally just ridden it. It's a very different ride experience as I've just said. Is it better? No, it's not. Is it the same? Roughly. The only sad thing that really lets you down is the train that we were on had a bit of a jolt and a rip, sort of a, a rattle towards the back. Um, the track itself though has been, smoked, it's been smoothed out, it's been profiled really, really well. Uh, they've definitely done a great job with that. But of course, you know, the trains, I mean the trains are still brand new, things might change. Uh, they might not kind of shake around as much as they used to do. It's definitely not as smooth as it was in my personal opinion, but it's still great to have it back. Uh, in terms of all the added new features and added new effects, it certainly adds something to it. But the, the thing is, like you're going out fast, you obviously you don't have time to kind of take those in as you go around. So yes, we've only kind of had one ride. Uh, first reactions, it's lovely to have it back, but sadly, I don't really think it's as good as it used to be. I, I don't want to say that, but yeah, it's it's not as smooth as it was. Okay, so Matt, you've rode um, ridden Nemesis Three What are your first thoughts and opinions? Absolutely, well, wonderful to be back on it. It really is. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. Sadly, the, the overall experience wasn't like it used to be. We knew it was going to be different, but I don't really think it's changed that much. 
there was a lot of shaking on the uh, train as we came back into the station. Don't know what that was about. No. The back row wasn't being used. We were the one before that, and it really gave it that on the way back into the station. I found that as well, yeah, absolutely. Um, but it was great to be back on, uh, you know, it needed a refresh, and the other parts of the ride, the, um, the aesthetics of it are absolutely fantastic. She needed it, she needed the love. Yeah. Just great to have a back. Absolutely, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So ultimate question really, is it good or is it the same or is it better than it was originally? To me, I feel like it's just the same Nemesis. Same Nemesis. With another coat of paint on it. Yeah, and to be fair, I kind of share that kind of thoughts as well. It certainly, it feels the same in terms of riding it. Obviously, it's not quite as smooth at the moment. It'll probably wear in with time. Yeah, but it's going to take time to bed in. But aesthetically, it's a whole different ride, isn't it? Oh, yeah, totally. You know, you know what they dropped into the queue lines, um, you know, it, it needed it. It's been a long time coming, so yeah. I'm pleased that it's happened. Absolutely fantastic. Right, so, Elise, first reactions to Nemesis Reborn. What did you think? Okay, so it's definitely riding a lot better than it was when it was before it being reimagined. Um, again, I love the sort of re-theme. <laughs> That's adding some smoke to the uh, to the proceedings. <laughs> Crap, yeah, I love how it's been repainted. Um, you know, the whole theme to it. Yeah. Um, it's given the whole area as well a new lease of life, which I really like. Um, but the ride experience itself, I found it a lot more comfortable at camp before. Um, it felt a lot smoother as well, in my opinion. Um, yeah. Still has the water as well, so I'm really quite happy with it. I really enjoyed it. But what really caught me off guard was the theme in the station. Like, yeah. That is. That's really, next level, that isn't it? That's incredible. Um, but then obviously the way the creatures would be imagined as well. Um, got smoke effects coming out when the riding cars go past. You've got the eye as well, which I think we're going to go and see in a minute, which is just incredible. Um, and then again, the atmosphere as well around here today is just great. There's so yeah. many characters to interact with. There's like a scientist going around and an assistant. Um, we've got the hazmat suit people, the phalanx. There's even some people going around protesting about the about releasing Nemesis. Um, yeah, the whole area has been refreshed in such a way that yeah, it feels it feels like this is what a theme park should be. Absolutely. It's clean, it's immersive. And that's exactly what I said earlier on. Yeah. So the million dollar, million dollar question then, is Nemesis better, worse or the same? I'd say it's better. It's better. It rides a lot better, but then again, I sort of started riding Nemesis later into its age, so yeah. I may have missed the opening few years where it was really, really good. Yeah. So Matt may have a different opinion on that. <laughs> I was here 30 years ago in a four and a half hour queue. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it really is that old. <laughs> yeah, I really am that old. Yeah, I remember Doom and Sons for crying out loud. Please be fair, I wish I did though. I'm good at this that. It's great to have all the team back in. Yeah. It's fantastic. Absolutely, it really, really is. gives it even more character and more more of a fearsome look more than anything in comparison to what we had before and this is really loud by the way this is so much better it really is and of course it's a massive photo opportunity for everybody as well but when you get that and then you get what you're about to get in a second what a shot what do you think of that magnificent beast? She's a magnificent beast. She really is. She looks very ferocious. Oh, she's absolutely safe. Absolutely fine. Absolutely safe. You got she's her perfectly fine. pinned down. Yes. Fantastic. Well, trust your word on that. <laughs> Can I just say though, I absolutely love this. I really, really do. It's the theming that's really made it what it is. And I'm also really interested to find out what's going inside here. Because I'll tell you what, in comparison to what there was there before, that's a very big building. <laughs> anyway, making our way up to Curse. And at the moment, the queue is still roughly about five hours. So good luck to everybody that's uh, queuing up. We've had our ride on Nemesis. Let's go see what else Alton Towers has to offer. Let me see here. Nearly just target ship. All under control. We've got a vibrating box. A vibrating box. So making our way up to Curse, we've now got a brand new unit. The original one that was there has gone, and we've got this lovely uh, 
cursed themed unit with refresh and refill lovely little addition there and not too far to kind of go up to the curse now as well Time to go pay Emily a visit, see if anything has changed, any new additions have been made. So good to be back in here. Really is. Love this ride so much. Never seems to be able to time it right in terms of filming this. <laughs> but gotta keep moving. That smell. Smells absolutely amazing. Watch the hands. Hey! That was handy. Right. Time to get on. Speak to you when we get off. Right, so we just had a ride, so nice ride on the curse. Uh, no new additions that I could see. Maybe a few minor changes and stuff like that. Um, lighting, a bit hit and miss. And some of the effects were out of kind of sync with each other. But apart from that, it's still a really good solid attraction. It's still definitely one of my favourites. I still take the curse over Nemesis. I love Nemesis, but that's really quite magical. It's it's everything you want it to be, it really is. So yeah, still more of a fan of Curse, but at the same time I love Nemesis, I love what they've done. And obviously in terms of riding it's great too. So uh, yeah, nice to get back on the curse again. We're gonna take a wander now, see what else we can see here. Our own towers, any new changes, new additions and all that sort of thing as well. So let's go have an explore. Right, so we just have some dinner. Um, Elise and Cobo on their own separate ways. Matt and Kelly have kind of gone their separate way to uh, get some lunch. I've had some nice pizza and pasta, it was a hell of a queue, but um, yeah, it was nice. It's gone up quite a lot though. If you don't have a Merlin annual pass, you're paying 21 pounds £21 for adults now, which is quite a hike in the price realistically, and you don't get dessert included. But it was still nice, I still enjoyed it. I've, obviously I've got a pass, it was last night, it was about 16 quid for me, but not too bad. But with everybody kind of off doing their own thing, I thought, have a bit of a walk around see what else we can see here in Forbidden Valley um, and obviously just have a better look because earlier on of course it was all about Nemesis and obviously getting on Nemesis and see what they've done with that so now that we've done that we're able to kind of have a look at other stuff around as well and see what else has been done now we've got all these lovely new catering outlets or revamped catering outlets I think one or two of them were already here well, obviously they've kind of revamped things so you've got energy station there Generator, which I think serves chicken stuff like that. You've also got the donuts up there. It used to be uh, them ISIS donuts or something like that. Obviously, that's been renamed as well. But this whole Phalanx facility theme really works really well. And the fact that it's much more kind of encompassing of the whole area now, it just makes it a much better experience, in my personal opinion. They've even really taken time and care to kind of make sure that the blade's looking its best as well. And of course, that's the oldest flat ride at the park now. But yeah, let's go have another look at Nemesis. Hopefully I'll try and get on some terror if I can because I'd quite like to give that a ride again today and sort of take it from there. Right, okay, change of plan. We've had a bit of a look round. Um, <laughs> gonna head up the other side of the park and have a quick round, sort of look around up there. We have obviously been down there all day. So I'm gonna head over there now. Have a look at the likes of Wicker Man, the Smiler, Oblivion, uh, and obviously Dark Forest, etc. as well. And we'll take a walk up to where the dungeon is and have a look around up there. Because of course we do know that Project Horizon obviously is scheduled for 2025 and it'll be interesting to see if any kind of works or construction has taken place or removal, you know, just site clearing in general uh, for Project Horizon. <laughs> so busy here today. <laughs> so yeah, we'll have a walk up there as well, we'll have a look round and I'll take you guys away. Let's go. Vlog bomb right there. <laughs> Shout out to you. Right, and also we've got Matt behind us too. Fantastic. Right, we're here in Dark Forest. Obviously, we're coming to have a ride on 13, see if there's any changes, anything like that. 
I don't really know if there's much up around here. There's not many changes in terms of improvements and stuff like that. Rita's looking a bit more fresh. I'm not too sure if they're repainted. And obviously, 13 we don't know as of yet. But we're going to go give it a ride, have a look around Dark Forest, and then kind of make our way from there. <laughs> Ride on 13 there, always really good fun, nice and smooth. And considering it's 14 years old, you wouldn't really think it, it still feels absolutely brilliant. Still lovely and smooth to ride, yeah. A constant yeah, Greta, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Big shout out. Um, yeah, we're gonna take a walk now, see where we end up next. Um, and then basically sort of have a look at the other changes around the park. So uh, yeah, let's go for a wander. So as I mentioned in a recent video, the dungeons opened up first in 2019. And it's been with the actual park itself for the last, what, five years this year? Now in that time, they've not made any substantial changes in terms of the scenes that are actually in that attraction. And not only that, it is of course an upcharge attraction. Now that's already kind of a, a sole point in itself, in the fact that you're paying a substantial amount of money to get into Alton Towers and then you're expected to pay an additional upcharge to go in and experience this. Now times like Scarefest, that works of course with scare mazes, you know, you'd expect that, but all the way through the year, as much as it is good to have one of these at the park, I can't help but feel it should have been free for pass holders from the get-go. Now I can understand them obviously want to sell tickets, they've got access to pay and all that sort of thing, but at the end of the day, you know, for pass holders, they, pass holders still have to pay, which is a bit rubbish really. Now, as we do know, it's set to close in late July. The last time you can actually come in this year and experience the dungeon is on the 19th of July. After that date, it's set to shut down and basically receive a massive overhaul. Now, what that overhaul will be, or the form it will take, we don't as of yet know. All we know is whatever is happening inside that building will be in time for Scarefest. I can't help feel at this stage, it's a bit of a last ditch attempt to try and make this attraction relevant and popular. I can obviously see with the fact that and again, we'll talk about this in a minute as well. You know, just over those fences, there is a site where Project Horizon is set to be. Obviously, with that in mind, I can't help but think that obviously, you know, this is going to be going in the next probably year or so. And I think realistically, I think we're into its last year. I don't think it will be back for next year. And I think if it does, I'd be very surprised. I would expect some serious changes if that's the case. But of course, as you know, I said before, we're set to see some major changes take place for Scarefest. The only question is, of course, what changes will they be? And will it still be quite a substantial charge to experience it? So on the other side of there is where Project Horizon is set to be. Now, at this present time, we'd expect them to have started clearing out that area in favour of construction, with construction walls going up as well. Sadly, Elise can't see over it, she's trying to jump up and see. <laughs> but yeah, from what I can see, and I'll just zoom in for you. This, this I need to get. <laughs> there we go, she can see. <laughs> Brilliant. But from obviously what we can a few moments later well what we can see try again there's still a lot of stuff in there now it was an engineering storage area of course they were keeping bits and pieces back there and at the moment it still looks like that's the case nothing seems to have happened in terms of it changing of course that does beg the question has project horizon been delayed and will it still go ahead well delayed i'd say so definitely will it still go ahead more than likely. I think we're probably just looking at it at a later date as opposed to being scrapped completely. It has received approval earlier last year, so the local council have actually approved it. It is, you know, basically, a, it's been given the green light. So, we'll see what happens throughout the year. We'll be keeping a close eye on this area, and hopefully we'll see some changes in favour of a new attraction, more than likely now in 2026 and not 2025. rides on the curse one final look around forbidden valley before we go home i'm calling it i can't stay to wait unfortunately i'm uh 
yeah, I'm, I'm far too tired right now. But it's been a great day. Um, it's absolutely start to belt it down now as well, which when you're only wearing a hoodie is not amazing. That looks absolutely fantastic. As you can see now as well, it's starting to get darker. We've just seen the sign. But that looks amazing, does that? It really, really does. It definitely takes on a whole different life down here when it gets dark. And of course, everybody now at this particular moment in time will be pining for a night ride on Nemesis. Now, theme park enthusiasts, you all right? Good, good. Yeah, go, good. Hello, Joe. Hello, you all right? <laughs> see what's in my box. Absolutely. Yes. Let's have a look. Okay. I'm sorry, that is classified information. Classified information. Oh, you teased me there. I'm sorry. I feel gutted. <laughs> Please enter that way. Go down Enjoy. that way. Thank you very much. It certainly yeah, will. We're just doing a scan of the area. Making sure nothing's contaminated. <laughs> You're contaminated. That, Sorry. You're not the first person to say that. <laughs> My condolences. And vaping is strictly forbidden in the Nemesis Q line and is only permitted in designated areas on the resort. Right, so it is an 80 minute wait. I think in this instance I'm going to uh, going to give it a miss. It's been nice to at least ride it once. We are planning to be back here, of course, through the week as well. Lisa's actually here on Wednesday. Um, and in all fairness, yeah, for a birthday. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to join her, but we'll see what happens with that one. Anyway, before we do wrap this up, we're going to take one more last look at the eye. And of course, the surrounding theme in here in Forbidden Valley as it does start to drop darker. And then we'll head back up to Tower Street, take a quick look in Tower's Trading, and wrap things up. So that wraps up our day here at Alton Towers opening day and of course the opening day of Nemesis Reborn. What an incredible day it's been. <laughs> yes, it's not really been ride heavy, but in all honesty, we've had an absolutely fantastic day. Forbidden Valley just looks absolutely next level. It's like John Burton said when I spoke to him earlier, the vein for cinematic, that place is cinematic. The marketing campaign, cinematic. Everything about it is absolutely incredible. Yes, Nemesis felt different it didn't feel quite as good in our personal opinion as it used to do but I mean it's still early days the trains can probably warm in or wear in and in all fairness it's just great to have the ride back it really is I really missed Nemesis last year so the fact we actually have it back now and the fact that you know we actually can ride Nemesis once more after 18 months of it being shut yeah absolutely brilliant but it's been a great day it really has it's been so lovely to be back uh, Bianca and the teams obviously over the close season you've done an amazing job of transforming this resort and really kind of bringing new life back to it as well and it makes me incredibly excited for the future of it as well um, there's a lot of things that have obviously they're going to be coming into the resort over the years I'm very excited indeed so yeah great to be back absolutely loved every second of it I really have and I really hope you guys have enjoyed it too will you be visiting for Nemesis Reborn over the coming weeks or months do let me know in the comments below and indeed what do you think of what you've seen today are you as impressed with the changes or do you prefer original Nemesis do let me know below guys but for now if you have enjoyed this video please make sure that you do smash that subscribe button turn on notifications and again if you have smash the like button to let us know as well it's always really appreciated but for now I'm Joe this is Theme Park Insanity and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.